Let's get it. Yeah. Scotch bourbon to ride. Yeah, we on that whiskey. Yeah. Wanna discuss an array of topics. Conversation simply. Gonna drop your whiskey bars with the sip hitting fold. Could you pass it? You want more? Another glass. Let it flow. A steady pour. <laughs> a steady pour. Yeah. A steady pour. A steady pour of growing. A steady pour of sharing. A steady pour of knowing. Now pass that click carry. So pull up a chair. Grab a glass and enjoy a melanin infused perspective with a whiskey twist. Yeah, yeah, a steady pour. Want to discuss a array of topics, conversation simply. <laughs> yeah. Glad you got it right this time. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to a Steady Four podcast. I'm your to... poor coach, Drew. Calvin. Tony, what's up? And that is what it do. And we are your co-hosts. And we have a very special episode for a very limited release. Ooh, yes, sir. According to the bottom. What we got? That's mail, the bottom. Mail, mail call. <laughs> yes, sir. Ooh. And uh, we have a pretty uh, dope bottle that we're excited to try. Um and since uh, it is a brand that Tony here stands for. Wow. Ten, ten tones? <laughs> ten, ten, ten tones. Damn. Ten tones. Ten tones. Okay. So y'all, y'all don't like him? Is that what you're I'll, saying? I'll, no, I'm just saying oh, that, that everybody just... says that Tone, tone <laughs> that got, got 50 11 <laughs> bottles. <laughs> he got 50 11. <laughs> He got a whole section dedicated just to this one brand. Listen, <laughs> I, I would just say that if you guys think that I have a lot of rare character bottles, oh. there's levels to. Oh, oh I'm, oh, I'm so, sure. Yeah, okay. I'm just, level, um, level like yes. three. Levels to <laughs> no, people's finances, too. Right, right. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> if but, you uh, had the ability, you would have all the money. <laughs> I appreciate the brand. I'll say that. And nah, uh, I so, I feel you. Why, why don't you introduce the bottle that we have, Tony? Yes, sir. Yeah, so they um, sent out a few of these bottles. I'm not sure exactly how many they sent out, but they sent out to some to, uh, you know, some people who've been rocking with them for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some media um, to get, I, I mean, you know, to get publicity on the bottle, but also I think just as kind of a give back of uh, what they're working on. So this is a uh, limited release that they've done. I think there's about 1,000 bottles of these. Ooh, really? 1320. Okay. So 1,300 bottles. Does it um, say which bottle we have? Yeah, mine. 684. 684. That's kind of cool. Back. Yeah. So it's 113 proof. Ooh, 113. 113? Okay. Right, 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 right in the wheelhouse. Yeah. It says yeah. it's uh, a limited batch bourbon, a marriage of some of the best barrels we have encountered in our journeys mm-hmm. huh. through the Rick Houses of America. So... Yeah, you know how like when we talk with certain brands like how do they go about deciding which ones they um, put in the batch which ones they decide to mm-hmm. do single, single barrels, barrels yeah. mm-hmm. which ones do they decide to uh, finish mm-hmm. and as well as i guess in this case like blend so i'm curious as to of the barrels that they've had right they had single barrels right that we yeah. all had they had mm-hmm. finishes and now we're getting a blend have yep. they, did they have blends it's, before it sounds like well, i i fortuna i feel like they well, have definitely yeah. have had blends because yeah. that's kind of what they do once they get these barrels they figure out what to do with them mm-hmm. and it's usually either blending them with other stuff or um finishing them in something that will enhance the flavors that they're tasting yeah yeah i just thought the majority of the ones that we've had have been single barrel um and finishes either single barrel of like a bird i can say the majority that i've had are single barrels and and finishes i can't say i've had too many of their blends uh personally i thought exceptional series were mostly blends I believe those are single barrels as well. They're really? just, they're, yeah, they're just kind of, they stand out from their regular single barrels. So. <laughs> yeah. That's um, interesting. Yeah. So. Yeah, to Kyle's point, I thought they definitely had a lot more of uh, just I thought they blended. were a lot, a lot <laughs> blended. of blends, but. but maybe not. <laughs> right. <laughs> just going off of the ones that I've, I yeah. have in mind. Is there, yeah. They're mostly. It's a good question. I have the Am- Amarada finish. I have the, 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 the two single barrel uh, bourbons mm-hmm. I have. Uh 
You said for turn for tuna was a uh, yeah. They definitely have different batches of those. Those are different. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I guess yeah. That's probably the only one that I've had then. So so this is pretty. So unique. this is basically just a random blend of kind of all their fan favorites. It's their it's batch one. It's batch, batch one. one. Yeah. All right. And apparently batch two's already already in the works. In, the works. in production. Yeah. So. My gosh. Yeah. They so don't stop. They don't yeah. stop. <laughs> so when you when you were reading that, that's kind of what. What it, I thought of in terms of like, oh, they took the barrels that we're used to getting single barrels of, right? Mm-hmm. And they're saying, you know what? These actually might be good to, to blend together, with, yeah. to yeah. blend with. And yeah. um, well, I don't know. here we are. All right. Yeah. All right. I mean, I'm excited to Let's try get it. Get into it. Should we talk about? I'm sorry, before we go in, should we talk about like the packaging and like how it was actually sent out? It's pretty cool. It wasn't just a bottle. Oh, and no, bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, usually get dope. right. Cal, show him, show him, show him the merch. He, I mean, he, he, he rocking, rocking the, you know. Definitely come with a lovely T-shirt that matches the yeah. label. Mm-hmm. It comes with a nice little card yep. sending their uh, appreciation of us kind of rocking with them. Yeah. Um, and the Glen Karen. Yeah. And the Glen Karen, yep. which I'm not gonna use because, like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I but I mean, it. It, it just shows to me like. They went a little above and beyond what you would normally send oh. out for for a free, you know. It was lovely. Yeah, it was so, definitely lovely. Shout out. Yeah, we put it on our socials. Check it out. Yeah. Um, and, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was a it was a dope mail call. That was a dope absolutely. Mail call. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Let's see what this is about. Dive in. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's rich. That's buttery. That's molassesy. Dark fruit. Mm-hmm. Very very right. dark. dark. Very fruit. dark. There's a lot going on with this nose right little, here. Little plum in there. It's fruity. Little berry. Little cherry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a mash. Sweet. <laughs> Monster mash. What a blend. That's what I'm getting. It's a blend. A little bit it's of heat on the nose. A, blend. a little bit, but not much. No, I mean, but not it's, much. it's definitely, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. get a little bit of sense of that proof on the nose. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely. Uh, there's a lot going on there. I'm almost oh. nervous to taste it because I want it to taste I like it smells. Because it, like, it smells pretty fantastic. Okay. All right. So off gate, I'm gonna say it was. It's very soft up front, very dry. Yeah. Kind of dries the mouth out a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm getting. A hint of that oak, which I like. I like just a little hint of it. Not as much of the butter on the palate as I got on the nose. I would say not not as much of the sweetness, really. It's a nice spice. I was getting more of sweetness on the nose. I'm, like I thought it was gonna be a little bit more a little um, sweeter, like, like yeah, just, yeah, just a little bit. I mean, it's it's not bitter. It's not like no. way the other end. I just I'm just saying what I was getting off the nose compared to how it. I, I kind of agree with that. Yeah. So I think I'm getting the same level of sweetness that I got on the nose. But you didn't get any of the dry that's true. on the nose. It's and got I a lot think, more of the oak. Yeah, the tobacco, and I think the that's what's kind of... Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say overpowering the sweetness, but it definitely takes yeah. takes away from it. It's still good. I mean, I listen. So there is something really, really unique about about this <laughs> that I'm that I'm experiencing on this journey here. So it's complex in a very non-complex way. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Like every f- like every flavor that you're tasting, and I'll get into that in a little bit, is sort of like it has its very distinct bold moment, and then it goes away. It's mm-hmm. like um, oak. Uh, you're getting like a fruit, like a, a cherry. Then it's like you, then you're getting spice. Then you're getting burn. Then it goes away to smooth. Then it goes to like is, and then it goes to like I, I got marshmallow. And then I got mm. chocolate. Then it, like I'm getting kind all of, that kind of it, dances around on you. Lot. Yeah, yeah, it's like, um, but it, it, it's not. Um, it doesn't like stay long enough not, to enjoy. N- no, <laughs> uh, it's it's not like it's. Uh, I was gonna say it doesn't taste. Like a like a blend, like it goes into each other nicely. It more so is like, it's like pop, boom, there it is, boom, bop, boom, bop, boom, bop, 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 <laughs> boom. Like and, and it's popping all over the palate, like dong, 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 which like, like is pop rock. actually kind of fun. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm actually it, having it fun. It can be, it can be yeah. terrible, but, but I'm, I'm actually having fun picking out all the flavors as it, you know, 
announces itself right on the pallet like it's like look at me <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm, I'm here too hi mm-hmm. bye <laughs> right yeah. it's just like they're that. all sounding off like why chocolate bye. cherry <laughs> roll call <laughs> chocolate cherry vanilla <laughs> spice <laughs> acetone <laughs> present <laughs> like i get I'm, I'm, you know, it, it, it all, it all. And it's funny as soon as you said acetone, like yeah. as it. soon as you said acetone, <laughs> I was literally tasting it. There's like, definitely a little bit of that, yeah, pink thinner. I feel like this could, like, you could open up a, a sensory Nail kit polish. and almost taste like everything, like <laughs> in the sensory mm. kit. <laughs> yeah, like you know, you'll ha- it, it'll have its moment on your palate. Mm-hmm. It'll be roll call, sensory roll call. Yeah, I don't think I've ever ha- had that happen before on my palate. So I'm trying to think of something that's similar, but you're right, I can't. Yeah. I feel like this is something, and I don't mean it in a cocktail anyone kind of way, but I feel like this would go great with something else, mm. like a meal. Okay. Right. Or dessert. Um, Maybe a dessert, but not so much a dessert. Um, I'm thinking more savory flavors. Okay. I'm thinking like a nice, simple steak meal. This would go fantastic with. Only because that dryness that I'm getting on the back end kind of reminds me of wine, which Mm. kind of makes me want to eat something with this. Like pair it with Something with some flavor or like just... Like, like, like... Uh, steak, potatoes, vegetables, nice and seasoned, nice. and have a pour of this, and this would be rocking mm. with that. Kind of has a similar feel to me as like some of the Madeira finishes we've had. Okay. In the wine finish kind of region where mm-hmm. it kind of dries out a little bit, um, but it also has a lot of other stuff going on. I'm not, I'm not trying to say this is a finished product. I'm just saying like this has some of those similar notes mm-hmm. as to, yeah as to like some of those finishes that we've had um well, that's one of the um uh, that gives me kind here. of a whiny wine, back yeah, end too wine, yeah the back end right yeah yeah, yeah. no it does how much of a pour you giving this um on that note I, okay so <laughs> stand alone with the whiny back end I'm gonna give this a three two five. Okay. I like it. Definitely not mad at it. Um, but I feel like if I was eating this with a meal, mm. it would be as high as three seven five. Wow. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I feel like this would pair with a meal so nicely, just because it has that whiny kind of texture in it in the back end. So, you know, again, I'm I'm enjoying the journey, the com- yeah. the, the complexity there, uh, that 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 strange like each flavor is getting a roll call moment on the palate. Um, so that already puts it in the fours for me. Wow. Um, and so the notes that are happening here, I'm I'm enjoying as well. Um, so I, I, all those notes I was saying before, I was like, I'm I'm getting chocolate, I'm getting cherry. I'm getting caramel. I'm getting marshmallow. I'm getting um, some of that acetone spice, um, or yeah, and just all that is just happening. Um, it's having its moment on the palate. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a four point two five. Wow. Okay. Four point two five. This wow. man loves a journey. He it's does. a journey. He does. I'll go next. I have. I'm pretty similar to Cal. I have it at a three point five though. Um, it's good. I, I feel like I need, like, a, a couple of times of trying this. I was going to say that. Different, different levels of having it opened up, and it, it's just a lot. Like, like initially taking that, first tasting it, I guess, based on how it smelled and other things I've had from Rare Character, is just such a departure that I'm like, okay, I, I need a minute with this. Um, as I'm sipping it a little more, it is good. It, there's a lot of different flavors that I like in there. There's also some turns that it takes that I'm still trying to figure out, <laughs> which I think is why I don't have it higher than I have it. I'm mm-hmm. like, I know this is good, but like the, all the notes Drew was talking about, I, I'm I, I'm not able to pick those out yet. They're kind of mashed together. Yeah, me. it's too much of a... It's all... It's a lot. Yeah, 
I'm not able to, I'm not getting like the, the journey that he was getting and the kind of switch from one to the other. I'm just kind of getting it all at once, um, <laughs> which makes it a little bit harder to enjoy Here we uh, are. right away. Um, but yeah, I think a 3.5, I mean, it's obviously it's solid. It's more than solid. Yeah. Um, I will go, you know, I will try it again for sure. And I think, like I said, over time, I think it's gonna open up really nice. So yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm right in the middle between all of you guys. <coughs> like I'm like I'm with Drew, where it's a lot going on, where it's, it's, it's very unique in that sense, where it's a, it's a lot going on. But I'm also like Tony, where I'm not getting everything that's going on yet. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I am enjoying what's going on. Like it's not like it's. I feel like oh man, this is. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. But it's like oh, this is cool. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. But it's a lot going on. And I do want to try. <laughs> And I do want to sit with it more to, you know, be able to better pick it out. So I think for that, I'm going to give it a probably a 375. Wow. Yeah, not not quite four. For a bourbon? Not quite four, but not quite, you know, three. It's, 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 yeah. it's there for me. It, it's very nice. It's very nice. It's very just unique. And in being unique, I like what it's doing in, in, in that unique state. Um yeah, and I, and I do want to say with it a little bit more. So for me, three point seven five. Nice. Yeah, I'm. You know, for me, it's a uh, it's party all the time on the palate. <laughs> I'm getting that's you know, uh, I, you know. I know we're not black and brown, but if Eddie I was Murphy. to say, <laughs> it's on the air. Party, party all the time. Party on. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. Youngins don't know about that one, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it does taste similar. I think it might be that Madeira. I, I haven't had it in a while, but I do want to try that now to see how it, it compares some, to this. It has some Madeira something in there it has yeah. a, a very familiar taste to it. One of the notes that I am getting, but I don't know. I can't really pick it out to say exactly what it is. Yeah. But one of their barrel, one of their bourbons we've had, are mm. one of their. It definitely has a familiar taste yeah. to it. Finishes, yeah. And they didn't say if they. Or finished bourbons, right? That they mixed in the batch. Right, they could have used finished so it could bourbons be. in there. It could be, yeah, yeah. You never know. So, I mean, that could be what we're getting is you know they picked out some of the Madeiras and that's what we're picking up mm-hmm. and other things. Don't they use uh they use other wines? They could have used a sherry or at least because there's multiple yeah, types of sherry. It's there's true. Cherry, there's sherries that will give you more of that fruit note. Yeah. Then there's sherries that give you more of that dry, winey kind right, of right. note. Right. Right. Yeah. So I don't yeah. know. Depends on their blend. I, I, I'd definitely be curious as to see what their blend actually is. Yeah. <laughs> Will they tell? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. I mean, <laughs> you know, people love a mystery. So yeah, they, yeah. When it's I, called red character. Yeah. Right. When, when when I read again this label, I'm, it's tapping into our renowned access to the best barrels, vetted so by their strictest criteria. Yeah. With experience in combining flavors. We're right. proud to go beyond the barrel. Yeah, so. really and that there you go. basically that tells us absolutely nothing. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> a lot of lot of good words used in right. there. A lot of a lot of <laughs> it's a fancy word salad. <laughs> Very nice. I love the way you guys the write. Barrel, <laughs> character might be in this box. Strictest <laughs> criteria. <laughs> and then you fast forward, you see the criteria. It's like pretty, it's, it's like, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, yes, uh, if you were, um, you know, blessed enough to uh, get a bottle sent to you, let us know. And if you see this on the shelf, when, yeah. it, when it actually I think yeah, it is out in a couple of places. I think people are saying it's out on, like, seal box. By the time this episode Yeah, it airs, might be sold out. It, it'd be out. It'll <laughs> be out and probably oh, sold out. Tried sold it. out. <laughs> so if you have this bottle, uh, definitely uh, let us know. Uh, What'd you, know, you think about it? What'd yeah. you think about it? Uh, who's, you know, what type of pour will you, will you give it? You know? Yeah. And uh, the complexity is there for you. The journey's there for you. Uh, let us know. All right. Yeah. Deuces. Until the next time. Hit us up. Peace. 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 Well, that concludes this episode of A 